Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm Aaron Burke. I am the administrator at Voice One, the leading voiceover school in San Francisco. I have the distinct pleasure of sitting down with Lynn Sofer today. Uh, she is a dialect coach of stage and screen. Lynn has worked on over 300 projects with theaters across the country, as well as uh, several motion pictures, including 2013's Fruitvale Station and the show on Netflix, 13 Reasons Why. So Lynn, you're going to be uh, teaching a class with us next week. Uh, well, starting next week uh, on American Accents. Uh, the class will be held on Zoom from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. Pacific. Uh, and I encourage everybody to join because it's going to be wonderful. Um, and so which day of the week? It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday night. Uh, January 26th and February 2nd. Let's just dive right into some questions. Great. Um, so how did you first start working as a dialect coach? Um, it's interesting. I always had, like some people have a, a, a talent for music or dance, movement, whatever, or sports. And so they fall into it because they connect to it. I was always like that. I always imitated dialects. I had a high school acting teacher who had me do a dialect role because he knew I could do it. And then when I got to um, advanced theater training, Actually, I came out here to train at ACT for graduate school, and I just thrived in speech class. It was like I had come home. And my speech teacher, because my hometown is New York City, she said, when you go back there, you go study with my teachers and come back here and teach. And the teaching led to coaching, and it just sort of evolved. I'm mm -hmm. still a professional actor, but I actually do more dialect work and coaching than I do acting. So uh, just falling into what you love. I like that. Yeah. And falling in love with a, a subject I hadn't had before. Um, so for actors who are learning dialects, what's something that's important for them to keep in mind when learning a new dialect? When you are approaching a dialect and life has gotten much easier. When I started, you had to hunt down real people and record them for actors. Everything's on the internet now, like YouTube. Um, so you've got visuals as well as sound stuff. As you are learning a new dialect, don't just focus on the sound changes, focus on becoming. I say, like, for example, if you're working on a French accent, find your inner French person. It can't just be, hi, I'm an American putting on this accent. It mm -hmm. has to be, what are you talking about? I am from Paris, you know? But to find what that does to you, to incorporate as you learn the sounds, as you use your ear, you use your whole being because that's what acting is. You know, it's when you're doing a voiceover, a commercial or something, you are, you believe in the product in that commercial and mm -hmm. you are that person. So same thing with a dialect, you dance with it, you know, and you get, you find your harmony with it in addition to learning the sound changes. I love that. Yeah. So can you describe what uh, people can expect from your American accents class? Well, it's very ambitious. We're covering American accents. We're only covering two, really, in because it's only two sessions. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I say to people, we are learning how to learn an accent. So what we learn in this class, even though it's limited, it's something that you can apply as an actor to any dialect. Um, and that's one of the things that we cover in the class. What do you do? Where do you go? How do you find this information? What do you listen for? And we focus on the fact that we're not trying to go behind enemy lines and not get caught and put up against a wall and shot by the firing squad. It doesn't have to be perfection. It is theater. You are convincing the people that they're hearing a real person. So um, in the class, you learn how to, how to dance with a dialect. We start with um, Southern and we deal with a generalized white collar Southern and then how you would adjust that for a blue collar Southern. How you would take a refined thing and bring it down to like where it might twang a little bit or get some R's back in. And then we talk about, you know, and you listen, oh, if you're doing Texas, you listen to this on YouTube. And if you're doing this, so I just teach people how you learn it, but you get a feel for it, what it feels like to be Southern. 
The next week after we review that, we hit New York which is like the flip side where we were melting. Now we're poking people. <laughs> New York is like, yeah, what? I'm not aggressive. What are you talking about here? And um, I also mentioned some stuff with that. Once we worked on that, I mentioned how you can adjust that for Boston. Mm -hmm. So you're basically learning two dialects, a little touch of the third, but you're learning how to learn and you're learning how to apply. It's not, two sessions it's how do i take this into the rest of my work right right so you can work on it beyond class yeah i believe in empowering actors not just do what i tell you it's like how do we get you to be your richest your best moving forward and achieving what you want as an actor excellent um one last question if you have the time um I what do? is your favorite american accent and why Ugh. That's like trying, you know, you have a large family and you go, who's your favorite child? Um, it very often switches. I did finally find one dialect I didn't like in America. Mm. I'm not going to mention it because I don't <laughs> want to prejudice people. Um, it just was sounds I wasn't crazy about. I'm really in love with whatever I do. Uh, as a new, native New Yorker, how could I not love New York, you know? Um, but when I, if I've worked on New England, you know, I'm a Mena and you're not, I'm in love with that. I'm, it's hard not to be in love with all of them. And one of the things I tell people, like I'm, I work out here a lot and people say, oh yeah, I, I, Californians, we're sloppy, we're late. And I'm like, no, 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 you're doing a good regional dialect. <laughs> it's the correct sound for California, for parts of California. So, we should fall in love with all of them. And whatever is right for the character is the one we love the most. So, but yeah, no, I can't pick one over the other. That's fair. All right. And there's nothing I love more than actors growing and adding things to their arsenal of, of talent and weaponry and stuff that they've got to use, so. Excellent. Well. Thank you so much, Lynn. I'm, I'm so happy to see you. Uh, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure talking with you. It's my pleasure. Love your students. They love you too. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you next week in class and uh, I hope you have a great day. Thank you, you folks too. Bye-bye. Yeah.